What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Joe Simons, like diamonds, Lukey. And Luke Simons. We're, We're here doing a little flats fishing. Dr. Juice just filmed a pretty crazy ad, if you will, yep. a commercial. Just we were just talking about the juice and we kept catching monster trout. Like, let's do a podcast here and, and show exactly what we're doing. Yeah, let's spray, give me, a, I got a new leprechaun on. Let's uh, oh, watch, spray watch me in there. I guess, worst case, it gets a little bit on you. Yeah, so this is our new, uh, our new scent with the, uh, the spray applicator. And this juice has been really impressive. Juice is loose, two sprays and you're done. And so what we've been doing is just, uh, just getting these, these are scented lures, right? These are these lures actually come with some scent, and we're just adding adding to it. Let's see, Cody. Look down here real quick. Just watch. I'm gonna. This will be my first dip, and you can just see. And obviously, this is all completely uh, fine for the environment. You see the. I mean, it, it's just like the trails you see. Look at that pop, pop. Can you see it over there on the left? Right over there. I don't know if it's, the water's picking it up or not. But this is an absolute beautiful, like a chum slick. Just like you see in Louisiana when you're going after all the uh, menhaden and stuff out there, the oil on top, it uh, it just flat out works. So yeah, we're just making some long casts, trying to be, you know, quiet. As quiet as we can in this big boat. We've got a 24 foot boat up in the shallows. This water's clear. This is not uh, an advantage for this type of boat with the tower. So we're having to wear uh, to use, you know, everything is everything to our advantage possible. We have light line. We're casting with the wind. And we've got some lures that are just putting off some serious scent, and that's that's really that's really how we're going to make it happen. Yep. And, this is and some vibration. So I've got the Slam Shady 2.0. Luke has a Leprechaun on. I'm going to go over your head here. Do a long bomb. And I've got the. I think we both have what the owner Twistlock one eighth. Yep. Owner Twistlock three out three out hook size Ooh. with the one eighth ounce weight. Oh, I just got a, a bump there. It's a really good. Could have been a mullet though. Oh, oh really there it bumpers. is. Nice. There it is. Oh, he's taking off. This nice. is a nice probably, fish, dude. Probably a big trout. This is a nice one. See Coming, right to us. Coming right oh, to yep. us. Coming right to us. Yeah, trout. baby. There's a nice little trademark head shake. Yep. Oh, that's a solid one. Slam shady on the board. The juice is officially loose. Yeah, you know it's a good trout when you hear that drag screaming. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do a better job than Luke did on the last uh, landing. Of course, you got a bigger, bigger trout as well, <laughs> and, I, and I'm gonna bomb it as well. Not as easy as it looks, is it? Not one-handed, it's not. If I were nice, oh. I would, I'd help you out, but I'm not. Uh, but you were, you were just Look talking about that. That's trash. a beaut. So yeah. I'm gonna do the same rule we did, and this is a nine. I mean, that's a, and this is a 19-inch net. The thing barely fit in there, so it's probably right around the 20 range. And Luke just filmed the tip, talking about how to safely release these bigger trout. These are sensitive fish, and there's just no real reason to try to pull them out of the boat. It looks like your lure's out too, so. Right away, you so your lure it. is out. So I can just let this guy go. I don't need to get a picture of him. So we'll let him, uh, he'll let him go. So my lure is out. Watch this, Cody. Well, he's definitely got life in him. And I'm just gonna, this is definitely bigger than 20 because he won't fit, he won't get out. There we go, swims off. So you don't even have to get him in the boat. And you see, he just darted off there. That was an easy release. Now, obviously, if you want to get a picture, I don't blame you. And the best thing to do, and another reason you put the net down in the water like that, is let them revive, let your buddy, or if you're by yourself, you can slowly move over, and get your camera ready, and then pull it out real quick, get a pick, and release them. Just one of the easiest ways to make sure we keep these bigger trout in production. Our buddy Dave Flad, who created uh, those ice strike lures, he's got that release over 20. I think it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, idea because you remember the stats on it on the amount of eggs those because all trout 20 inches like that and above are female like 99.9 .9 of them and so they're the ones creating all the new babies and yeah. if we take all of these big breeders out uh you can only guess what's going to happen long term so i think it's just a fantastic idea and organization yeah and they're the ones that are most fragile too they're, they're really i mean they're the they're the ones we need to protect the, oh, oh, we need Luke's to protect on. the most See what we got here. Oh, another trout. This wasn't quite as big. Yeah, those bigger trout are the ones we need to protect the most, and um, and 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 they do the most benefit when we do protect them. So it's a, it's a no-brainer. This is we should always release those bigger trout, um, and, and to just take as good of care as, as we possibly can. And a, a, a video that we actually just filmed was about nets too, and the type of net. So if you are using a net, make sure to use one that has small holes. If you can fit two fingers in it, it's too big, and it needs to be rubberized. 
If either of those is not a yes, then just don't use the net. Just, just grab it with your hands. In this case, we, we have both. All right, get that trout in there. This is a little guy. Hey, the juice is still loose. The juice is still loose, yeah. You guys, if you haven't picked up your doc, Dr. Juice scent yet, what are you waiting on? This stuff flat out just gives you an advantage. It works. So this is just a little fella here. Get this guy off. Put him back down in there. And he's good to go. Let, let him let him, him or her grow up and make a lot, of, a lot more trout for us. But yeah, this is, uh, again, a key thing when you get up on these flats is just to have some good lures, have the right type of tackle so you can just cast as far as possible and that'll significantly increase your odds. Yeah, we, so what I'm using is the Slim Shady 2.0. I have 30 pound uh, mono on um, and I probably should have gone a little bit lower, but that's yeah. what we we're using earlier. And we, still, hey, guess who's got the biggest fish of, of this podcast so far? Yeah, with the water this clear, the, the fact that the sun's up, that we have bright skies, we have clear water. Um, for that reason, I went down to 20 pound uh, mono, but clearly it, both of them work. Both, and so you've got the, the new, that's the brand new Bull Bay, the custom salt strung Bull Bay rod, yep. seven six. I've got the TFO, one of my, my all time faves, and seven six is uh, as well. And uh, of course I have the Daiwa Exist, and you got the Fuego, the Exist. Uh, oh, we just there. Ooh, good brother. We'll always go right behind where you were. Yeah, where were you? I shouldn't. I shouldn't have uh, said anything. Yeah, that's another good tip right there. You're fishing with somebody. And you miss one, you don't have to necessarily tell them. Yeah, you know, it's. I mean, unless you're just dying to brag that you missed a fish, <laughs> all of a sudden your buddy, is throwing right behind you. Yeah, especially when my buddy John once, and I was I was using top water, and he was using a spoon, and I was having we were in, down in Marco having a, a, and a really good snook bite. Throwing, I was throwing the spook up against the mangroves, and they were popping it, but they just kept missing it, kept missing it, and he would throw that spoon that subsurface spoon and they would hit his every time. So that was, he literally caught about six of my fish and was laughing the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, was, that was years ago and I Ooh, still remember it. Had a hit there. But uh, yeah, oh, so. Should I, I just did the. Oh, yeah, no, I know where you are. Well, I, I was really just telling our listeners, our viewers. Thought I saw a trout there, that might be a fish. Let's see if we can get him. Let's talk about where we are. Uh, we're in Tampa Bay area. Obviously, our, our insiders will do a report and show you exactly where we are, but you can see we have all the right structure we're looking for. We got the beautiful potholes here. Hopefully, you can see them, Cody. If you just look out here, you can see that sandy looking, uh, what, what, not sandy. Just camo, uh, camo pattern. Camo pattern. I was looking for salt and pepper. That's what I was looking for. Not, not, a, good, with an S. not a good description. Samsonite? Simpson? Swanson? Swanson. Um, and then we got Cody, you can see that little mangrove over there by itself with the oysters. So we got oysters, we got birds, of course it's a duck, but still quacktastic. We got mullet jumping over here. We literally have everything you possibly would want. And we were in a spot earlier that we would have thought would have been good based on the trends that we share with our inside our members, and it wasn't. And so within a few minutes, we realized, hey, we're not seeing any of the things we need to see, like birds, bait, and boils. And in, even though we had enough structure nearby, we ended up bolting. And we came here to film that Dr. Juice uh, video and she's all gone. I mean, two monster trout. And I, I caught one off camera right beforehand. And now we're staying. And now we're just silently, oh, Luke's on. That's a smaller one, but it's oh. decent size. Oh, I'm on two, double, oh, double. Oh, it's coming to me. Double. Oh, this is an, <laughs> oh I, just, uh, I just missed him. Uh, oh. so we're, we're in him now. Yeah, and so, All right, let me get back out there and see if I can double up. This, this is a nice fish, dude. This one's bigger than my first one. I think yours is the winner. Oh, man, that was a nice one I had on me. He was coming right to us. And so another good thing about just having a powerful winter boat with a powerful with the, with the remote, it's very handy. So I'd had it on there. I clicked the button twice. It automatically goes down until it hits, hits the ground, which is very, very handy. Um, again, we want to release, it, release this guy, get him in this net rubber coated net and oh he doesn't want to go in there <laughs> we have to do a whole video on how to net a fish yeah we can have a how not to in this in this video for sure so what's in there let him let him recoup a little bit right right now he's had he or she is at its uh you know actually the hook just came out so we'll just let this we'll just let it go there dave there flad's are. smiling at us right now yep fish releasing is all gone. these beautiful fish we had our fun that in my opinion that thump when you feel that thump, that's just the most exciting part of the fish. You feel that thump, and then you set the hook and your rod bends down. 
that's my favorite part as far as picking them up and holding them. Uh, you know, if, unless I don't have to, I won't. So uh, that was fun. Let's see if we can do that again. Heck yeah. Yeah, I missed, uh, I missed that one. Yeah, so we'll just stay right here for a little bit. This is, this is really finesse fishing. You know, these fish are not active. This is, a, this is actually a windy day. It doesn't look very windy, but we're, uh, we're behind an island that's, that's protecting the wind. And uh, so these fish up front have just come through. This water's a little bit on the cold side. And these fish are not gonna be not very active. They're not chasing down our lures. We basically have to get a cast right in front of their face and, uh, and hope that one gets fooled by the look of the lure and that scent of what it smells. I don't know, if, Luke, if you've had the same experience, but you know, I just saw it there. We had it earlier with a big trout on where some of these larger trout start coming right to you. And, and, and I don't know if they instinctively know versus going away and, and keeping that, that hook tight in their mouth, but the same with Peter Deeks when we were going after those monster 26, 27 inch trout, a lot of them are just coming straight to the boat and it's a great way to lose a fish. Uh, so you have to be just quick and there's many times I've even had like, man, it's off and you just gotta keep reeling as fast as you can and make sure you got some tension there because these hooks, I mean, you've seen it both times, pop right on out, right in the net. Uh, the second there wasn't any, uh, any real tension on there. Yeah, their mouths are real fragile. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. You see, for a second there, yeah, I thought he was off because coming right out the boat. Yeah, they usually start fighting the hardest when they get about 20 feet away. So this, he might start pulling out a little drag. That's a nice one. Yeah, buddy. I still think that first one's the best. Ooh, I don't know. That's a good one. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. See him down there, Cody? He's laughing at you. Oh, uh, right in your face. Oh no. Yeah, that was that was uh, easily over 20 inches. Release over 20. Hashtag release over 20. <laughs> you're welcome, Dave Plaid. That's how you do it. Don't even get them in a net. But you're right, dude. That the fun part is just that that thump. Yeah, I mean, nothing beats the thump. Man, nothing. these uh these big 20 inch trout, they just nail it. And that's why I like saltwater fish. I grew up bass fishing, and I still love bass fishing. I still I still do. But um, but when you feel that when you feel that bite from the bass, it's pretty much a 90 plus percent chance it's going to be a bass. Um, here, you just never know. Could be. Ooh, look at all the mullet over there, dude. Could be, uh, you know, as small as like a six inch trout, and it could be a six foot tarpon. Now, you never know. It's, uh, it's just always keeps you guessing, and it's just, I don't know, that's the ultimate. In my all right, book. guys, when you see a school of mullet, pop, look at that. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? Right. I, need to, I need to get a new owner twist lock. When you see on. your brother uh, hook into one, you good one, cast right where he was. That was a solid fish, man. Dang, that's two. Oh, I just had something. Yeah, there, there it is. Cast right in the, I literally cast right in the middle of those mullet. I'm gonna do a little sneak attack around Luke here. See if we can get another one. If you guys are listening and not watching, we're, uh, we're in just a couple, couple feet of water. Uh -huh. Slam shady. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Better check your hook, man. That's Seriously. Two. No, that's three. Jeez. Right, I'm gonna, what happens go. if you catch so many big fish, you start bending your hook up. I'll go play out. Oh, you're not, your trout's not going to be bending your hook. Don't tell that me. might have been that mangrove you hooked into. Uh, that's, we promised not <laughs> to talk about that uh, earlier. That was so. Uh, I think. Dang, I man! Think you spooked that one off. It felt you. Yeah, that was a that was a, a legit trout. Normally they suck that thing down. I don't know if I'm just getting a. Luke's trying to pop my line to see if I'll set the hook. I'm trigger happy now. It was yeah, right. Was, Anyhow, if you're listening, we had the school of mullet, and I don't know if you can look over here, Cody, I'm right in the middle of these potholes where you see that sandy little white spots and the black. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Man, the Dr. Juice, I'm telling you, these big trout, I mean, Slam Shady's almost an unfair advantage. There now, that's a nice one that's there, dude. One. That's a nice trout. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Dr. Juice is loose. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Look at him. He's coming right to the boat. Now he knows he's hooked. Oh, help me get the net, Luke. Help a brother out this time. Yeah, let him. He's still fighting. Just let him. Help a brother out. I want to get him in. Lost three now. Dang, that's a nice one. All right. See, so it helps to have a partner. You can go right in. All right, now and then we're going to let him let him breathe. Yes, yeah, so get him in the net, give him slack, and now let him recoup. And uh, 
he is going to be he or she. That's probably actually a she. This is a this is this is pushing 20 as well. Yeah, probably over 20. And you're going to open up the bail. Yep, open up the bail just in, just in, so you don't bust your rod or anything bad. All right, worst case. Like, yeah. So worst case situation that could happen now is the trout actually gets out, the hook's still in there, and if Joe can't grab his rod quick enough, it's just going to pull line out. <laughs> it's not going to pull. And I quite rod. honestly don't want this beautiful reel going in the water. Yep. Right, Dio ready? exist. Ready to rock? Yeah. You want to get a quick pick, or what do you want to do? Are right, you hold the net, and I'll get the camera ready. Okay. Yeah. Now's the time to have all your camera stuff ready. Let that fish recoup. It's healthy. It's in good shape. All right, so camera's like literally ready. This is the best way to do it. It's actually on, ready to go. So the lighting, I want to be faced this way. The slam shit, he's still in his mouth, right? So, hold. so we'll show you guys how we do it here on the boat. Hold the net. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch spots, so I'm going to get back over here. So you want to be up there in the front, because the, right? Yeah, I'm getting right over here. There we go. You ready? Oh, man, look at that. That is a beautiful trout. Try to get him out as quick as possible. Whoa. Oh, that's not how to do it. All right. Sometimes, guys, you just got to do it. We're not going to take a picture now. Joe, just put it in the net and we'll pretend that didn't happen. No, I got him. He's already off. All right, he's off. <sighs> he's off. Joe fumbled. Big fumble. So what happens when you got a 19-inch net and a 20 half inch trout? But you know what? At least I got him in the boat this time. But that's why we do these live podcasts. You guys get to see exactly what happens. And at least we got him out safe. Did want to get a pick of that bad boy. Just to rub it in Luke's face. You guys are watching. Don't do what I just did. Although I don't know what I could have done really differently besides have less water on my hands. Oh man, now I got tangles in my, oh, you gotta be kidding me. If I did get any worse, Cody, we'll do the old chap chapstick trick. You guys try that one? So I got fish slime, salt water, and I'll get some chapstick. So the trick is, I'll give credit to my old friend, Captain C. Richardson. We're out there and he gets mad, nasty bird nest, that guy. I'm, I'm giving him a hard time. We love CA, but we were fishing with a, uh, just load that chapstick on there. And that gives it a little bit extra and you just start pulling it. And of course it doesn't work when I'm doing it. Oh, there it is. Boom. And you pull it loose like that, but we were fishing with uh, bait casters and he got a nasty, nasty bird's nest, which happens pulls out his chapstick, basically just cakes it on there. And you saw, I mean, it, it definitely pulled out. Beautiful way to get it in braid. All right, Luke, redemption time, dude. So far, if you guys are listening and anyone helping me count, of course I say that. Dang it, Luke catches another one. Let's see what we have here. Let's say, is... Slam Shady. It's a solid one. Oh, I, I hear the, uh, the head shake. You guys, you guys listening can probably hear the head shake. Need some help with the net? No, I got him. I've, I've proven to be very handy yeah, over there with nets. I don't, I don't want you touching my trout. <laughs> uh, but guys, isn't this awesome? Like, this is so much fun. It's just sitting here right on the flats. Dude, that's a butte right there, dude. That's yeah, another one. I mean, not fitting in a 19 inch net. Let them kind of get a, usually they'll start calming down once they realize they're they're taken. All right, there we are. He's calm. All right, hooks out. Hooks out. Solid, solid trout. The camera. Let this guy go. And he's good. Good to go. I'm good to go too. Now I can uh, get back another cast before Joe tries to catch more than me. Yeah. So now we're getting uh, kind of towards the edge of this uh, this area we've been fishing. We'll see if they're still here in a little bit deeper. But it's crazy here. I mean it. It was cold this morning. Obviously, Luke's got his shorts on now, but it was it was chilly this morning when I left. Now, sun's out, water's heating up, especially some of these areas with just a couple feet of water. I mean, it's wild how shallow these trout will get. And on a clear day, remember when we got out here, Luke, I mean, you could see everything. We could see that very first school. Yeah, and it's, this is seasonal. So this is a season. We've been talking about this in, the, uh, in our weekly, in the weekly game plans. Um, that we do every week for Insider Club members. And so this is kind of one of those things, just take advantage of it while, while we can. It's a whole lot of fun. These big trout, 
it really feels like catching redfish. They're just so much stronger. Yeah. A lot of them are pulling out drag. And uh, we probably have just a little bit longer to have until, fun with them until they go where? They'll just spread out. A lot of them will go out deeper. And uh, just right now, they, they get um, probably in around their spawning time and they're, they're kind of just get in big groups. And so as soon as you find a group, uh, like what we've done today, you can, uh, you can really get after them. Yep. I think now we're getting a little bit off that area, but we've got this oyster bar up here. So I'm betting there's still going to be some around here. Maybe not as many as back in that spot back there. Yeah, once you find them, I know. Uh, oh. oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, he's back on. He's back on. <laughs> Dude, that thing oh, is just hungry. Multiple. That thing is just hungry for it. There's, yeah, cast right back there is probably more. Usually, once you get a hook in them, once, once the rod bends real far down, I don't know, sometimes they do come back. Yeah, there might but be a little school of them in there. But trout, yeah, there we are. Yeah, there's a bunch of them out there. Let's see if we can double up. Yeah, in many cases, if you do miss a fish with a, a trout with live bait, they'll almost always come back and get it. You gotta be kidding uh, me! But as soon as uh, as soon as that trout is actually hooked, fighting you know, like that, in many cases it'll spook them. But if you, if you if you just feel that thump and pull and miss, um, just just slow down, and they, they'll almost always track it down again. But once the once the rod's killed over, Holy, they're eating that slam shit. I'm telling you, that Dr. Juice dude. It is full yeah, of them every time. Yeah, and this is just a, an example that you don't have to have a perfect lure. <laughs> Dang, nice. That feels like, oh, that's a trout. You don't have to have like a perfect lure, a perfect color. Like we, we couldn't really be using a polar opposite, a more polar opposite situation. Like really the only thing that we have of the same is the scent. Because I have a green lure, Joe's is white. Mine has a split tail, Joe's has a paddle tail. A little bit smaller one. I'm not used to catching these little 18 inches. <laughs> this, uh, this is the one I kind of want to come off. And of course, you know, he's now, uh, he's on. He be on. Oh, make sure my Dr. Juice doesn't fall out. Leave him in the water a little bit longer. Dr. Juice, there it is, the saltwater slam. Get my hand in. Get this guy out, off of here. Oh, come on, baby. Ah. Of course, this is the time I should have used the net. The Ooh, one I just missed a good sticks one. like crazy. Oh, gone. Oh, got him. Are you kidding me? All right, this is this is a solid one. Is it? Yeah. He is not happy. So that one, that was a case of just what I talked about, where where I felt a thump. Felt a thump and um, and missed it, but I didn't. My rod never bent over. I, I didn't actually hook it. Whoa. Um, so I just I just kept retrieve. And this guy came up and That's hit a, a second solid time. one. Check this out, Code. I'm putting some more Dr. Juice on. And this is still the same slam shady that we've been catching. I don't know now, seven or eight trout for the for this little spot. I know it hasn't been that many on a uh, film. Around my line. Oh, gone. I'm just having a tough day over here by the. Of course, now my hook wants to hold on to something. I got fishing with bad news bears today. Yeah, bad news bears catching all the big fish. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's check this guy. Like out. getting mad at the kid that can't catch a grounder. He's hitting home runs every every cast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's a beaut. That's a solid one. Yeah, these things are there. They are, they are just beautiful fish. I absolutely love these things. Let this guy go. He was barely hooked. Mm -hmm. That is solid fish. Look at those little teeth up there. Yep. Little canines. Double canines. That's cool. All right. I'm going to get back out there. Oops, now I'm trying to get is. in my way. See if we can't do this again. Got some new juice, some mullet. And if you guys can see those boils right there, we're at right where I cast. I wouldn't be surprised if I got a strike. There's a lot of mullet here on this flat. That's what you want to see, life. In these bigger trout, it is great. Oh, right there at the, at the boat. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. That is a solid fish. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Right there in the middle of that school of yeah, a let, mullet. Let him wear itself it's out a little bit. It's crazy how big of baits and mullets, live mullet, these things will eat. I mean, it is absolutely nuts. I mean, that's a nice one. All right, Luke, now, hey, redemption, you still got my phone? No, it's the back. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. All right, I'll, uh, I'll help you out. I wanna get one picture. 
Man, he's still got some life in him. Still got some life in him. There it is. All right, so we'll let him recover. Yeah, open give me, my bail up. Give me some time just to. Just in case. Whew. Cody, it's wearing me out, man. I'm not used to catching all these big fish back to 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 back. What was that? That was the first cast after the after all the right, juice. Huh? Let's do a face ID thing. Was, oh my goodness. I'm not gonna let everyone know my passcode on film here. All right, let me just pull mine out. <laughs> yeah, just uh, tell everybody whoa. your passcode. See, this is this thing, man, he's got a ton of life. Sure, just tell everybody your passcode. Nobody's listening, nobody huh? listens this long into the podcast. We'll just, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Just yeah. Tell everybody your passcode. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's simple. <laughs> uh, what's your passcode? Passcode. <laughs> All right, uh, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do All this. Right. I'm going to get him out here. That's a solid fish, man. Yeah, it is, baby. Come on. All right. Hold him good and just keep him right over the net or over the side of the boat. I am not going to let him drop this time. All right. One, two, oh, yeah. three. All right. All right, Thanks cool. I'm just going to get this out. I got him here. Whoa, All right, so, buddy. so that's it. That's really the case. You just want to just get everything, get everything set. That was a quick pick. Joe's going to get that bad boy back in the water. And I can now have some time where he's not in All my right. way and hopefully Let's go, buddy. catch an even bigger one. Release over 20. Yeah, that's a solid fish. Yeah, buddy. All right. Get so they're nice and dark. Way. These, these trout have been hanging oh, in this grass yeah. for a while. You can see they have really dark backs. Um, you can actually just look at the fish and see where they've been holding. Um, if it was out on the beach or sitting in potholes, it'd be whiter. And uh, pretty much all these, oh, oh man, I just missed one. Pretty much all these fish have been nice and dark. So they're just kind of scattered, scattered out here in this grass. I finally had a pretty good cut in the Slam Shady. I don't know if you can see it there, but finally got a nice little rip in it. But I'm gonna give it one more. I think it earned its keep. Yeah, I mean, when you got that many 18 to 20 inch trout on, one, the juice is loose, the juice is just keeping it going. Man, so much fun. It's yeah. a fun day. I mean, these are some nice trout, dude. Yeah, I think we're out of the, uh, oh, as I said that, I just got to buy. I think that was just a pinfish. I think we're out of the main bite. That was that was fun. We uh, we we caught our fair share. Oh. Yeah, but I got puffered. You did? Yeah. That might have been one just hit me, too. Yeah, so those puffer fish, that's the one thing that's my one of my worst enemies of the puffer fish. They hang around this, the seagrass a lot, too. And no matter what soft plastic you have, they'll, they'll cut. They'll just bite it in half. I don't know how they do it. But even like Z-Man material, they'll, they'll bite through anything. And so if you ever see like a clean break like that, um, probably a puffer. The pinfish will just grab like little small nicks at a time. Those puffers come up and, and just annihilate it. But uh, always fun. Something's falling here. But yeah, we'll close it out because uh, we're drifting off this uh, area. But guys, if you haven't joined us in the club already, do it. We're actually going to show exactly where we are. But most importantly, every week we're going out fishing new areas and talking about the why right? The trends. Why was the spot so productive during this day, during this tide cycle with these specific lures? I mean, that's the critical stuff, right? Because people can give you a GPS spot all day long, but if they don't tell you why it worked, like this spot will not work for these kind of trout in 40 days from now, guaranteed. Maybe 20 it could still be producing, but in 40 days from now, this will not be a good spot for these nice trout. And you got to know the why. And that's what we focus on every single day, week in and week out, in our insider club. Yeah, and it's, all, it's all about, it's the type of spot based on condition. Because when you know the type of spot and the conditions on why it's good, then you can find a million spots on your own. And, and it's way more enjoyable to find your spot on your own. Like nobody wants to just go with, uh, with places that somebody told them. So that's, that's the big part about the club is just focusing on the, the, the feeding trends based on the weather and then based on the tides and, and, just, and just the latest feeding habits. So we do it every single week. And it's, uh, it's, at least in my opinion, by far the best way to, to get dialed in, to get truly dialed in to what's yep. happening. And now we have a handful of coaches. So these, this, what you're watching and listening to now is the public podcast. We do the same thing every week privately for our members and show exactly where we launched, where we were, where we missed fish. We literally show all the highlights of everything. But most importantly, focus on the trend. So there's three parts 
to our private insider club that the one that you know now I think we're at 22,000 members as we're recording this just hit 22,000 members from Texas to Florida to really Virginia and everywhere in between so number one is that premium content the stuff you can't find out there on YouTube the can't stuff you can't find anywhere else it's the real time on demand what's working right now in your area and we have now five what you have five different fishing coaches who are going out every week in their areas you know from texas to both coast of florida north carolina and actually fishing spots and showing you what's working that week and now we've even done we're doing live uh you know uh, uh, live coaching essentially i guess is the right term for it yep. where every thursday right you know right before the weekend gets going we get on a zoom call with our members and you can ask whatever questions you want hey you know joe luke wyatt tony austin Justin, I'm fishing here this weekend. Where do you guys think I should focus on? We'll get right on a satellite map and just dial it in for you, saving you tons of time. I mean, hopefully years and years of time. So it's that premium content on how to go out there and catch more fish. Then we have the discounts, which, you know, everything from Dr. Juice to Slam Shady to Alabama Leprechaun to Rods, Reels, now even some custom stuff that only members can get. And it's 20% off or more pretty much across the board on everything. And then the community, talk about that, because that's, that's one of the, I think, one of the hidden gems that we didn't even anticipate how powerful that was going to be, just that network yeah. of, of anglers helping anglers. Yeah, my personal favorite part. So it's basically like a Facebook group on steroids where it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a place where all of us post our reports. We share way more helpful information than any Facebook post would be because it's private only. No there's, cursing, there's no, no politics, negativity. No, there's just none of that, none of that yeah. stuff that we just hate seeing on social media. It's all about fishing. And, and more importantly, it's all about anglers who are just willing and, and able to help other anglers anglers because it's all a give take um, like the other day that post we just did with the big black drum that was a tip we got from one of the members right and, and so that's one that's the one Actually, thing I, through Blair Wiggins of all people yeah who's a friend <laughs> of one of our members yeah. who, who reached out who mentioned us so it's it's really it's it's about the network it's about your fishing network that that was my biggest realization when I was doing tournament fishing what what got me to, to bump up the, the quickest and the most was once I started tournaments and just became friends with with the other tournament anglers all of us were in the corporate, corporate world, uh, and there's about four or five of those teams that none of us were full-time guides, and we were competing against the full-time guides. So we we just befriended each other. We would uh, we would share our pre-trip plans and our and our, and our, you know, our prior scouting trips, and we all knew where everybody fished, and we just kind of had okay, I'll, I'm going to do this spot first, you do that one, and sure enough, we were winning money. At least one of us was on the leaderboard every single time. Mm. It was. Uh, it was incredibly powerful and that was when I really started just getting better and better. So if you don't have a fishing community or a, a good group of, uh, of, of anglers who are just sharing helpful tips, make sure to get one. And, and the, the club, our club is, is certainly one. We'd love to have you in there. But if you don't do that, just make sure to have one. Make sure to have uh, some groups that you can just share tips because it, it, it's a give take. And at the end, everybody gets better. Yep. So that's it, guys. Hope to join us. For you current members, you 22,000 members, thank you guys and gals so much it is it's become family to us and we love getting in that community every every single day I and mean, i spent at least an hour a day in there now gotten off facebook oh i got a nice thump there um so we just we absolutely love it and if you're not a member join us we have a 100 percent money back guarantee for a year that's unheard of and the cost comes down to just 27 cents a day that's a whole lot less than a cup of coffee per day and now you know it used to be it was all fishing tips in the community once we added the discounts now both men and women you know, if you got a spouse who's kind of bugging you, hey, I can't believe you spent this much on tackle, you can say, honey, I just saved a ton of money. We have members that save $700 yep. in a year just on the tackle. Uh, and that's like off the lowest price you can find in Amazon, Batch Pro, et cetera. So now we can justify it every which way. Gonna help you save time, because that can be tough to justify, but we know we help save time and now save money ultimately have more fun and the meetups too now that the COVID's getting a little bit better starting to see a lot of our members meeting up and mm -hmm. going out kayak fishing or boating together and that's been really really cool so i hope you'll join us all at saltstrong.com yeah and if you're just if you're on the fence for whatever reason just know that we'll even throw in a 200 percent guarantee oh so uh, so if you get in there just use it and you have a full year you have a full year to make sure that you see noticeable results and if somehow you don't just let us know we'll obviously refund the money you you did and if, you, and if you think it's a waste of your time, we'll actually pay you back what you paid us. So we'll give you oh, all your money back. Oh, oh that's a nice plus, one. Dude, plus that's a nice. Paid us. That is a nice trout. Nice work there, Joe. Look at that trout. You're going to love that on the closing. So that's one final reason, man, that head shake. Uh, it was uh, not as big as what it looked originally, but it's a solid fish. Oh, yeah. He's just, he's a hungry one. Yeah, I thought it was uh, over 20. That one's, that one's close. All right. Well, we'll end it right here, guys. Thank you so much for all the support, all the love. Go to saltstrong.com. Join us in the club. 
you will not be disappointed. You will catch more fish, you will save time, you will save lots of money, and you'll meet a ton of good friends. And of course, you get to do some live coaching with us every week. We do it every single Thursday. So hope to see you in there. I'm out, peace, see ya. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.